Hey guys, this is Sachet from Black Black Shadow PB, and uh, right, right, you're watching the DPFX review, uh, and maintenance, really. Uh, so let me show you what you need to do when you lube the bolt. Or well, yeah, for this you have to lube the ram, and the ram is here. You have to unscrew this, which I'll be showing you after. Uh, here's the bolt that you don't really lube. You just take it out for like a few. You don't lube that a lot. You just do like much, not too much though. Always, always not too much. Now, when you put it in, don't put it in all the way over here. Put it in like shape it up. Match it up with the frame and push it in. There. Now, let's put that down. Okay, now, here, I'm going to show you how to lube the ram. Or take out the ram. Now, get the hook size on the Allen key, or for the bolt. Whatever, you have to unscrew. And that's not the size. I'm a retard. So, oh, fuck me. So, Lanky. Alright. Yeah, alright. So get the Allen key that fits in that. It's huge. It's, I, it's the 532, if you're wondering. So get the 532 Allen key and unscrew it. Alright, hold on. This might be. Or you can swatch it like this. Alright. <laughs> So, yeah, when you smell a lot, you just take it out, and then the rest you can just do by hand. Alright, so that's going to be, you don't lose this, okay? I don't think you can find this anywhere. Alright, that's your 532 Anki. Remember, always, do not, never lose this. Now, here's what you do. What I do is just like push it right but you're thinking this will make this makes the bolt move that's right so you gotta take out your bolt first before taking this out don't like pry it open take this the bolt out first okay then it comes out like that don't worry the string I mean uh, the spring you can just take off like that okay Put it down somewhere. And I'll just lube it. Just, you know, how you lube. Uh, don't, you don't really have to get this part. You can still lube. Just lube everywhere. So you'll get all my hands dirty now. And now just put the spring back in. Like that. Now, put it in the long side. Just put that in. Then, you can... Put that in. No, don't put that in, okay? So, put this back. Just rewind. Do what you did to take it off. Now, and just tighten. Okay. Make sure it doesn't fall out. Match the bolt. Stick it in. You're good to go. Might shake, but it's okay. Um, so yeah, that's the uh, ram that you have to lube. Another part is is the OLED board. As you can see, wait. Oh, turn it on right now. You guys can see that. Right that way. Yeah, that way. Now you guys can see the camera won't focus, so I'm gonna have to focus manually. Okay, so here is the. Let me just focus on this boot asshole. Okay, that's what it's gonna look like when you're shooting. Okay, now let's go cycle through the modes they have. Burst, react, auto, ramping, 
PSP3, NXL, Millennium, and the Semi. So yeah, and then my eyes are on right now. Take them off. Yeah, it just makes sounds. Just like when you go burst. Uh, if you go auto, just hold the trigger, and then we'll make that ticky noise. But put your eyes on, though. Alright. Now, I'll show you the program mode. Okay. Seriously? Yeah, that's the thing. You cannot do a tutorial on this thing. Okay, okay, I guess you guys can see that. Please just focus. Okay, now I'll just read them out to you. Got the profile load menu, hot start menu, and program menu. Okay? So, fun things to do. Let's put that on. Fun things to do with the programming mode is you're gonna go to. Okay, there, that's better. You can go to Trigger Trainer and do the. That little thing, you know. That's like the most popular everything. Just everybody just does. Now, if you want to get out, just gotta turn this off. Hold the trigger and press the red button to turn it back on. Go to statistics. See how many times you pulled the trigger. Your peak pull rate. Ah, uh, your and the total. Fuck. Total shots I've took is. 59,621 shots, and the pulls I got was 36,245. Now let's go back. Alright, now I've got the program menu, hot start menu. See, all, I got all these options. What I want to do, you, you can if you want to go to program menu, you want to set which profile you want to program. Oh, let's, I want to screw around with profile B right now. If this camera will never focus, I'm going to smash it. Okay. Uh, uh, Alright. Nope. Take this one. Okay, yeah. There. I don't understand. Just, just, just focus. Okay. You can do the marker set points. There's firing set points. What do you want to do? All right, there you go. Now let's go to where is this? Mark set points. I'm gonna know trigger trigger debounce, solenoid dwell, abs dwell, bolt return. It's not much. Breach delay, auto OLED intensity. So you don't really need to do all that stuff. I just press back. Now this when you uh program it. And you click the start menu, will bring you back to the shooting mode. And you'll see that mine right now. I'm turning it off. It's capped, tapped at 20 balls per second. And with the eyes off, it's tapped, only capped at 10. Alright, so that's my review. Hope it sucked crap, because it did. Right, so bye.